Hello YouTubers, this is GraveDigger147 and today I'm going to be doing a video review on the Airhawks Hyperactives 5. Now, this is very intriguing, very, very stunning of what they did here. Um, it is, let's just start off with the price. The price is $34.99, which is about at least $40 depending on tax. $40, is pretty much $40. Uh, this is available on Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, any kind as long as you find it. eBay is mostly on eBay. This is where I got this one from. Um, now, let's just start off with the box. Here's the box, as you can see. Five-wheeled stunt vehicle. I'm going to go to the back of the box. As we can see here. Right here, they give you this hole to test out the pressure of the tires. Because how the tires, the tires have this line through it that can, like, is the suspension. It has it on all, all the wheels, even the, even the front ones. Now, the car has five wheels, as you can already see, but that top one on the top is up here. And that one moves with the rest of the wheels, as you can see here. It has independent steering, which means what if you turn right, it turns full right, turn left, pull left, yep, left, whatever. Now, it does kind of go back. Depending if you have low battery when you turn, it will not go back all the way. Now, here's the real thing that kind of made me a little bit angry. It takes triple, six triple A batteries, three triple A batteries for the controller at the bottom, three triple A batteries, and three triple A batteries for the RC too. This is not a rechargeable RC car of the normal Airhawks, which I am very surprised because Airhawks is pretty much meant for its rechargeableness for the controller, but I guess they tried something different this time. Um, crap, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, uh, to the controller. The controller is dual proportionate, which means you can go slowly forwards, slowly, and all the way. Same thing for the back. You got steering. Not much steering, really. It has that squishy texture, too, but not a lot. It also has this trim right here for if you want it to go forwards first or right back. But I can't really move it, so we're just going to leave that alone. Here's the on switch. That was very close. When you turn it on, it will start blinking until you turn on the RC from the back. As you can see, it stopped blinking because they're in sync. As you can see, it is... Oh. When you have full battery, it's pretty fast. Um... If you guys can see, hold on, let me see if I can try to do this. Um, okay. I think I got it. All the tires spin. Whoa! Whoa, that was pretty close. Cool. Alright, so. Let's give this thing a try, shall we? I have developed some ramps here, so you guys can see, but I don't think they're going to work. I don't, I don't think it's just going to work, standing this thing up, this thing up alone. Place here I can put it. Uh, son of a gun. Uh, okay, let me see if I can just try to steer the damn thing with my. Just. 
this thing is a pretty good peppy vehicle. It's pretty nice. It's great for small fingers, for small hands. Hold on, let's see if we can just try to wedge it in between my legs. There we go. I think I got it. There we go. There we go. You can see I can still drive upside down, but the controls are switched. So left is right. If you wanna, if you wanna switch back, you just gotta go forwards. There we go. Now, when you're upside down, steering. Has changed, you cannot steer. Really rapidly. Like you would like you would in a car mode. Sometimes the steering doesn't work. Sometimes you have to ease up on the throttle. Because if I go straight. It is kind of annoying that you kind of have to, whoa, there we go, we did a little flip right there, let's see if I can just shut it, there we go. It does bug me a lot that the controls change, oh, come on, come on, ah, oh, crap, there we go. So you kind of have to get used to the controls when it's upside down, ah, there we go. Now this is a pretty fun vehicle for kids. For kids, I'm guessing ten and up. Uh, I think that's what the box is. I mean, oh, there we go. I think you can see the tires right there on the car are working very good. Um, I do suggest you do not put it on carpet because the batteries will <coughs> run out faster, and you do not want your battery to run out. Whoa! Oh, crap, it's stuck. Come on. Oh, crap. That's the Air Hawks. I guess that's it. That's the Air Hawks Hyperactives. Right there, everybody. That's the Air Hawks Hyperactives. Um. Let me see if I can just try to get one more good jump out of this. And there we go. Anyways, everybody, that, that is the Airhawks Hyperactives. Um, trying to end the video pretty good. We're just trying to end the video pretty good. Anyways, that's the air hug hyperactive right here. Now, what I do recommend that I just came up with, because this thing kills the battery so fast, what I suggest is that you, oh shoot, holy crap, it just jumped pretty high. Did it break? Dang. It dropped it and it didn't break. I would test it and just jump it off of his, but I don't want to take the chance. So yeah, anyways, this is the Airhawks Hyperactive 5. Now what I suggest is that you guys get some, get some, get some AAA battery chargers. They sell those, the AAA batteries, with this rechargeable plug where you put them in and they charge. I say that's a better idea than just replacing it every time you run it. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys later.